This I'm not looking forward to at all. I haven't slept in this place in my teens and uh, I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel even now I don't feel comfortable. Um what can I say? I feel like there is in this one spot, this one room, I just feel something very dark, very evil, I suppose. So, I don't know. I really don't know. EVP session, May 25th, 2016. Is there a small little lady in this room? I stay in Jason and Marie's house. Do you stay here all the time? Would you like to play with this teddy? There you are. Hello. Um, and a hundred thousand welcomes to you all. Uh, my name is Brendan Rutledge and this is a ghost hunter theory. Well, we're going on an investigation tonight and uh, yeah, looking forward to it. It's a really old castle, this one. And uh, ooh, I'm getting all the freaking chills. Anyway, I want you to meet somebody, right? She is the best in the world, probably one of the best investigators I ever had. Ali, how are you, darling? Hi, Brendan, how are you? Thank you. <laughs> right, tell, tell us a little bit about the, uh, yes. the castle there. Well, the castle is a 15th century it was built in. Uh, it was originally by the de Burgos and then it's in, it's seeded into the Daly family. Come on, lads, I'm going to show you what's going on here. For the love of God, how could you not love this place? Total limestone now, this. Total limestone. Where's that Patrick Dukes gone? Ah, Patrick Dukes! Come here to me, me old flower. Patrick Dukes is our medium. Go and tell you a little bit about yourself. Well, I've been doing this for a very long time, probably too long to count. But um, I've worked with different people, different paranormal groups. And I'm now working with Brendan and picking up energies that go way, way back and centuries of energies, which can be very complex and complicated depending on the type of people they were, the, the nationality they were, what their attributions were, and how they lived in the castle and things like that. So it's it's pretty crazy. Oh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, crazy can I good. do it? Crazy good. Can I do that? You can try. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. Well, I met Brendan probably about two years ago, and I was telling him about uh, when I was younger that I was in this abandoned house in the middle of a kind of a, a bog in the forest, and I was just kind of um, felt a presence. And then Brendan told me he was interested in ghost hunting. And I said, "Oh, <laughs> that's interesting." Oh yes. <laughs> so yes. Oh yes. So that's why I linked up here and had got involved with the ghost hunting with Brendan. John and myself has done a couple of... We've been there, done that. We've been there and done that. Uh, now, tell us a little bit about yourself. My name is John Frawley. I live beside Brendan, a few doors down. Been there for the last 17 years. And I was in the Defence Forces for 26 years. Joe, Joseph, I have something very sad to tell you. Something very sad. We're going to have to find that grumpy little fucker now, so we do Oh, Nathan! Darling! Did you ever see the likes? This is my son, Nathan. Well, he doesn't believe in any of it. He thinks we're all stone fickin' mad doing it. I'm going to prove him wrong. Watch this. Nathan! Come here to me. Come on. Well, he started liking go something there about a good couple of years ago. I was wanted me to come with him, didn't really want her. So eventually I went once, kind of got hooked from then. How did you develop an interest in ghost hunting? It all started um, when I was 10 years of age. Now, 
my family weren't well let's just say we were not very well off you know and uh, we lived in a small little uh, little uh, council house and uh, was it a mobile trader at the side of it but uh, one particular day I think it was about I think it was about between 8 or 10 right? I'd say around 8 or 10 I was walking up the corridor now mind you you have to remember like all around us were big farmers I was in the the passageway uh, in, in, in the mobile home or the trailer and uh, do you know what a child's bereaved you know mm. wow <laughs> you know <laughs> Do you ever hear your own kids go, why? why? You know, or how? Or, you know, and uh, you know, just basically wanting to have not everyone get other children had, and uh, unfortunately we couldn't afford it. So we did, you know, we did our best, and our parents did our best, and they were great parents, absolutely fantastic parents. Love them. Um, so I was walking down the passageway um, in the in the mobile home, and I was thinking of all these things, you know. And, uh, how do I explain this? It, it was like somebody came into my thoughts. Yeah, no, it sounds very strange. Yeah, um, trust me, you're not mad. <laughs> Bush. Uh, those thoughts gone into my head, like you know, saying that like, you know, haven't you got your brothers and haven't you got your sisters and you know, your mother and father? By the way, there were seven of us in a small cottage, right? This way, it's small, I would say. And I got all the man, what are you complaining about? But as soon as about uh, was said, it was gone. And I was stoned. Now, remember, I'm eight to ten years of age, right? Mm. Eight to ten years of age do not uh, have them thought, you know, have them thoughts of go you know, cop yourself on this one. Exactly. You're about in barracks or something like that, you know. They, they don't. We, we would not. But it struck me until this day, and I'm only 21. <laughs> Plus flash. You know, it's, it's a while back. But, um, yeah, it stuck with me until uh, this very day. And it was uh, something that, uh, you know, that made me want to, to understand more. Yeah. And I understand more. is like, at the age between 8 and 10, I couldn't understand what happened to me, you know, uh, what, what were these thoughts or where did mm. these thoughts come out of. So I used to go back to the very same spot. No, and I mean the very same spot. Done in the very same place, and I mean the very same place, and said the very same things, and nothing ever happened. That's weird. But uh, yeah, that's where it all started. Mm. Uh, but uh, it, it, it's you know, as time goes by, you kind of forget it as much. Mm. But it's always in the back of your mind, if you understand what I'm mm. saying. But um, years down the road, then uh, we got a house, or we built a house eventually, and. Uh, Coming into my teens, the whole last thing started to change considerably for the worst. And that's all I can say about that at the moment, because the girl behind the camera is going to go fucking mad if I don't show up. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, that's how that happened. Okay. Uh... Anyway, we're going to love you and leave you. We hope you kept you entertained for that little while. So, from all the gang, Bye. Oh, Yay! And cut. Honey, there's something up here.